Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty interesting stuff. Number one, we actually, I do believe, have a confirmed restock. We'll probably go and talk about this tomorrow, too, as well, uh, in the early morning, so be on the lookout for that. Number two, I think GTA 6 is going pretty big. We actually have some pretty big GTA 6, uh, both good and bad news. So we'll cover up the restock stuff first, and they'll go and do their, uh, base all the Rockstar stuff and GTA stuff right after as well. So we have a lot of good stuff to go talk about. I always like these types of bits and pieces of news and everything else, so... Let's go and talk about it. As well, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. As well, for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway, Amazon links down below for the PS5 signups for the Horizon Disc Edition and Xbox. Twitter and Twitch stream down below. If you guys want to follow, we'd love to have you guys there. Tar we got the Target links as well down below. And let's go dive in the video itself. So, first and foremost, you guys may or may not remember a lot of this type of stuff. But it does seem like all of our orders, because I, I want to touch on this a little bit. We made a video on this a few days ago, where we've actually had some folks that had some issues, slash had some uh, things pop up for their PlayStation. So they had an email over here with the direct.playstation.com order inquiry. Hello name. And we, you guys may have seen this on a previous prior video. We'll probably talk about it tomorrow morning as well for the reminder slash update. This is, I'm, I said before, like before on the same confirmed stuff. Uh, it's still not 100% confirmed, but the kind of new bit and piece of information on this, if you guys have saw this already, we did also see a few other folks as well also get this, I believe. So it kind of seems like it's a more widespread and a little bit more spread on out uh, from other folks besides just one individual person. And I think that's usually one of the better things to note on uh, because, well, if you just have a bunch of stuff all happening at once, that's usually not too good. Like, I mean, or if you have only one thing happening, that's not too good. If you have a bunch of stuff happening, that's usually pretty good. So we are watching that pretty closely. We'll keep on seeing and looking to see if more folks get it. Uh, but this does look like it is still officially tomorrow. On the first uh, time I talked about this topic for the PlayStation Direct, we were assuming it might be a public one. Could also even just be private just for people with issues or technical issues or, you know, Sony just kind of throwing them, them a bone and being nice. But they have this email saying, Thank you for reaching out to PlayStation support. We are happy to let you know that we have included you on a future opportunity to purchase a PlayStation 5 console from PlayStation on 7-6-2020, so tomorrow, between 12 p.m. Pacific Time and 5 p.m. Pacific Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Time to 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And as per usual, that's usually around when the PlayStation Directs happen, uh, the public direct. So I do think this seems like there's going to be a public direct tomorrow. Uh, once again, though, it could just be a private one. It could be a longer one with people with technical difficulties. Keep that in mind. I'll probably remind you guys tomorrow slash remind folks to sign up. But if you guys want to as well, don't forget to please go and sign up for the PlayStation Direct. Just go and Google literally PlayStation Direct on your phone, on your laptop, on your whatever, and then sign in with your PlayStation ID. And then at that, you have a chance sometimes to get emails. This one does seem like a slightly different one because this person, I believe, had their order stolen. So then they had to go talk to, like, you know, the people. Uh, they had to go and be like, hey, Sony support. Can you please hook me up? Can you please help me? I had some issues. You know, life's not going too good. Uh, what can we do? So that's kind of why we have, like, more of a specific individual one. Uh, typically, public queues just happen. Uh, if you guys want to follow the Twitter or whatever, I'll probably have a community post out tomorrow if I do see it, uh, just in case I'll be watching that tomorrow. But I just want to let you guys know we have been seeing it. We have been looking at it. We have been vibing at it. And it does seem very, very, very likely tomorrow. And as well, they never gave a specific email time, just a normal thing. The last time we did go and see a PS Trek 2 as well, it was up for like five hours, six hours. So if we do see more public queues, the stock numbers are probably looking pretty good. We'll probably have a pretty good drop, and I'll be pretty excited to have a chance to rock that out with all of you guys. Like, I'm actually pretty hyped up for it. So this does look like it's pretty much confirmed. It does look pretty good. Be on the lookout for it. And as well, don't forget about the Target, Best Buy, and all the other stuff as well, Amazon stuff too. We have those linked down below. Now, a uh, really kind of quick thing, too, as well. This is some kind of big news for GTA 6. Now, I'm one of these folks. I'm very, very hyped up for GTA 6. I'm really hyped up for this one. And this is more so Rockstar is now saying, hey, you know, we had the GTA trilogy. It did okay on sales. Like, I think the sales are actually better than expected. But a lot of you guys probably know, like, that was a buggy mess. Like, that, was, that wasn't good. <laughs> it wasn't a good vibe at all. Uh, there was a lot of issues, a lot of game crashing, a lot of saving issues, a lot of, like, uh, graphical downplays that lost a lot of its heart and soul. It was still, like, okay. 
It still did good on sales, but as of right now, uh, yeah, it wasn't that good. So basically, Rockstar was a little bit disappointed on that one, and they now have confirmed that GTA 6, so I'm going to put, like, huge news for it, because I think this is kind of big. Rockstar Games focusing on GTA 6 after GTA Trilogy Mishap report says. It looks like GTA and Red Dead Redemption remakes might not be happening anytime soon. Now, I would actually love a Red Dead Redemption myself, but I do would I'd probably agree. I think it's been such a long time for GTA 6. We're on next gen. They want to probably start like implanting up the next big cash cow. Like I'm sure at some point GTA 5 is going to keep on tapering down money-wise, and they'd rather make a new game. Myself, I'd rather play a new game myself. Development for Grand Theft Auto 6 actually might receive even more resources now, which is just huge. Thanks to the issues from last year's Grand Theft Auto trilogy, according to a report Tuesday from Kotaku. Rockstar Games reportedly plan to remaster Grand Theft Auto 4 and Red Dead Redemption, uh, two of its best-selling and critically acclaimed titles, which I would agree. I would actually love to play both of those as remakes, but you guys can maybe vote on this one. Would you guys rather go have a GTA 6 or the remakes? I think I'd rather have a GTA 6. However, things changed sometime after the release of the trilogy, which included remasters of GTA 3, Vice City, and GTA San Andreas. Due to the uh, trilogy performing so poorly, Rockstar has now reportedly switched gears and shelved the remakes while putting its focus on GTA 6. As per a reliable source with clear accuracy on Rockstar plans, remasters of GTA 6 and Red Dead were put on table a few years ago. So basically, like, they wanted to do it, they wanted to test out the system, they wanted to see if they had good stuff going on, but then basically, as of now, Rockstar chose to not proceed with this too as well, mainly because the trilogy, like I said, had a pretty bad reception, pretty bad ratings, a lot of people weren't a big fan of it, myself included, and at the end of the day, I think a lot of people just want to have really high expectations, like Grand, uh, Grand Theft Auto V was kind of a big, groundbreaking title. Red Dead Redemption 2, I would say, wasn't maybe necessarily as groundbreaking or as, like, technologically pushing, uh, but it was good. Like, yeah, it was a good game with good reception. It was also on PS4, so imagine if that game would have been purely for PS5. It probably would have been the game that kind of set the tone for the generation. So I do think Rockstar themselves just want to get this game out. People are asking about it. There's only so many more times you can do it. They have had the GTA 5 already. I'm out on this next-gen console for a while. And I'm sure, like, another year, two years from now, whenever GTA 6 comes out, I'm sure a lot of folks can be like, well, you know, I kind of I kind of want to play something new. <laughs> you know, they get new cash cows. So in February, Rockstar confirmed GTA 6 was in development, uh, which was the first mention of the game by the company. GTA 5 released in 2013, so it's getting close to 10 years. It's a huge seller still for Rockstar, selling more than 155 million copies, and also had the online, which has brought in billions of dollars. The trilogy was a surprise release last year from Rockstar and gave the older games from the PS2 era a high-def look. When it launched, though, players came across a large number of issues, including awkward-looking visuals, wealth of glitches, and basically Rockstar even got to the point where they went and uh, basically apologized for the state of the game, and thankfully have done a lot of patches and even stuff in February that fixed a lot of the stuff, but at the end of the day... Meh. You know, I I just want GTA 6. So, at least we have some good gaming news over here. Brand new confirmed restocks. I think they're confirmed. Really good news for GTA 6. Second, uh, <laughs> getting a lot more attention. And we do want to wind down this video on a little bit of a sad topic, too, as well. There's actually a person out here, Gene Park, who's been kind of a big games reporter. We've even covered up some of his stories. I've seen some of his tweets. He's very active in the gaming sphere, leak sphere, and everything else. And sadly, as of today... Uh, for this, all this stuff, I have cancer. I will fight it. The fight's already begun. Thank you for all for listening, and I'm humbled by your concern and support. So just a little bit of like a, I guess my, I'm sure he'll never see this, you know, when it comes to like the mix of a nine minute video, but I never want someone to have to deal with this. I never want someone to have to go and do it. So I am rooting for Eugene. Uh, I hope he does really well. Like I said, I've even shown him, I think, in my channel itself beforehand. And when it comes to life, when it comes to everything, it's rough, dude. It's rough for always seeing this from people you either know or admire or just are in the same industry as you, whatever you guys want to go and say for it. So I am definitely pulling for Eugene. If any of you guys have made it this far in the video too as well, definitely keep him in your thoughts and prayers and stuff. Hopefully he'll be able to push through it. Uh, usually whenever people find a cancer in the first place, usually that's a good first sign. At least you have a chance to go and like work with doctors, work with medical stuff, test out some things. You know all it is. So a little bit of a good wish to him. I hope everything turns out good. And hopefully if you guys are going for restocks and as well, hopefully it turns out good for you guys too. I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the PS5 giveaway. 
All the links down below, Amazon links for the signups, Xboxes, Twitter and Twitch, stream, Target links, and everything else. We'll have some more videos on tomorrow, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys.